Hi, Martin here. Today I want to show you how to remove a stuck drum on your rear axle. And this, what I got here is a nine and a quarter Chrysler rear end um, doing a disc brake conversion on this. So the first thing I got to do is get these drums off. And I did get this one off, so I'm going to show you how I did that with the other drum. I'll get this rear end flipped around and we'll get this video started. Now the first thing you got to do is back off the adjuster on your drum to make sure, you know, otherwise it's not going to come off, especially if there's a ridge worn into the drum from the shoes because it'll only go so far and it's not going to come off. Now these, that wasn't the case on here. It was literally just uh, due to rust is what usually causes these brake drums to get stuck on here. Now what you're going to need is a decent adjuster like this one here or you could even use like a flat blade screwdriver, a fairly decent sized one and you can reach in through the back of your backing plate. There's a usually a rubber boot there that you're going to remove, small grommet. I'll, sh I'll demonstrate that real quick. Alright, taking the adjuster, going through this hole right here in the back as you can see. You rotate that adjuster so it brings those shoes in together now you can see as I'm rotating that that gap is closing up and that is bringing those shoes together now by bringing that adjuster in it brings these shoes in and it should release the drum now in our in this situation it's a stuck drum because we got rust around this ring right here and around the studs right here and that that's where it's grabbing a hold of these studs and from this axle shaft to the drum itself Now one of the first things I would recommend is getting out some good penetrating oil. I got this one here from Safety Clean, one of my favorites. And start hitting right in there. You may want to let this soak for a little bit. Then get yourself a persuader. I got a, uh, one of these dead blow hammers. Or you can just use a regular hammer as well. You're really not going to hurt this drum any. All right, if none of that works, it's time to apply a little bit of heat. You may want to have a fire extinguisher handy. Shouldn't be a problem though. This is another reason to really hate drum brakes. One thing Chrysler really should have done with these drums is had those holes drilled in here like they, a lot of manufacturers will put two threaded holes right here where you thread a bolt in here and you just use your impact or a socket or whatever, evenly run the bolts in and then it'll push the uh, drum right off of the axle because those bolts will go in pushing against the axle shaft and push this right off there 
what would it cost them to dr drill two holes and thread them, you know? Okay, what I'm going to try now, I got an air hammer here. This is a uh, impact socket I welded on here years ago and we then welded this closed and then just ground it smooth. And now I got myself an air hammer. I'm going to beat the hell out of this with some air. If that doesn't work, I do have a solution to getting this drum off of here. Now, if I couldn't have got it off by using that air hammer there, my next idea, because it is a C-clip axle, it's held down by C-clips, pull the rear cover off and pull the C-clip out where I could pull the entire axle out with the drum. And then I know I could separate the two. And then just put it back, put the axle back in and reinstall the C-clip. And in fact, I just did a video on that. I'll put a link right up here. You can check that out if you like. That would have been my last resort uh, if I couldn't have got that off. But I, I just held on with a little bit of rust and wouldn't come off of there. But uh, that vibration of the air hammer, it'll break the rust free. And probably what I should have went to right away in the beginning. Well, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed that and found it helpful and informative. And I'm sure glad I got that thing off of there. And if you never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notified the next time I upload a video. And I sure appreciate the thumbs up if you did find it helpful and informative. And I'm also an Amazon affiliate. Please check out the links down below in the description where you'll find Amazon links to use the products and tools we used in the video and you can do all your Amazon shopping through one of those links and that way the channel earns a small commission and I sure appreciate that. Thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one.